Welcome back for another day of the 13 Nights of Samhain Challenge. Today is October 24th and the prompt is, how do you connect with the natural world in autumn? So I like to spend a lot of time outside in nature in autumn, especially. I live in Texas and I like to spend a lot of time outside year round, but in the summer here, it just gets so hot and the spring heats up just so quickly, really kind of almost goes straight from winter into summer. Spring goes by, like actual spring feeling weather goes by so fast. So it's really hard to spend a lot of time outside in that heat without completely overheating. So um, I've always loved nature and animals, so I love spending out time outside. And so autumn is really a great time to do that. And once it cools down in fall, it's a lot easier to tolerate the weather than when it is still super hot. So one thing I love doing is I love taking walks in our local green belt and I just like to walk around, enjoy the sights, sounds, and smells of nature. It's really nice over there. And I also sometimes just take walks around my neighborhood or go down to the local park. I also enjoy spending time in my backyard garden. I have a small in-ground area that I have converted into a perennial pollinator flower garden. So, you know, I've got things like native plants and flowers in there that the bees and butterflies and other um, pollinators really enjoy. Then I also have several raised beds and I grow different things like fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, all kinds of stuff. And so um, I like to spend a lot of time out there just in general, but in autumn is a lot um, nicer again because of the weather being not quite as hot, but also um, during like spring and summer, I plant just a lot more variety of different things, you know, tomatoes, beans, cucumbers, peppers, potatoes, sweet potatoes, a bunch of things like zinnia, different basils, calendula, etc. And then sometimes for fall, I'll do a second round of that kind of stuff. But then once it starts cooling down, I do more stuff like carrots, radishes, lettuce, spinach, arugula, broccoli, cauliflower, a few things like that. So there's just less variety and um, so it's less work, I feel like. And um, this year I skipped the fall garden, but right now I've got some broccoli, cauliflower, and kale out there. And then I'm growing a few new things this year like um, fennel, and I'm going to be putting in some Swiss chard and kohlrabi soon. I've got some little starts that I started from seed in the garage under lights that I'll be planting out soon. And then once it cools down a little bit more, because it is still kind of warm, it's, it's just now actually starting to feel where it's like cooler here, a little bit anyway. And so once it does, that's when I'll put in seeds for carrots and lettuce and radish and stuff like that. But I'm growing the things like the fennel, Swiss chard, and kohlrabi for my sister's bunny. She has a rabbit that she just absolutely loves, and so I thought it would be fun to grow some stuff for her. Another thing I like to do is meditate, and normally I just do it most days inside, but during autumn it is nice to sometimes go outside and meditate, and I can either sit down and do like a more traditional meditation with my eyes closed and stuff, or I like to do um, like an active meditation where I like walk around and I'm like, really um, in the moment, and I will do that either walking around my garden or like I mentioned sometimes around the green belt. And I just really like connecting with nature in general. It's a lot of fun and yeah, I just, <laughs> I love it. So those are some of the main things I do um, around autumn. And I wanna thank you for watching my video. So. Thank you so much for watching, and please leave a comment below. I would love it if you would subscribe and like my video. I will see you for tomorrow's video. All right, bye.